Okay, today I'm going to be cutting fruit and putting it in the vacuum chamber and seeing if it still turns brown. So have you ever noticed when you cut an apple in half, after a few minutes, the top of it has turned brown? Well, today we're going to be testing if that's because it's exposed to air. So I'm going to cut it in half and I'm gonna put half in the vacuum chamber, the other half outside the vacuum chamber, leave them side by side, and then see what happens after a few minutes and see if either of them turn brown or which one browns more. Okay, perfect half. Let's make this quick. We're at 0.2 atmospheres in there already. Okay, we're at full vacuum. Let's speed it up and see what happens. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Let's let the air back in and compare what they look like. Okay, there we go. Vacuum chamber on the right, air on the left. Look at the difference. So there's an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase. The oxygen oxidizes quinones or just certain molecules in the apple and it makes the color brown. And so if you don't let the oxygen into the apple, then that won't happen, even though the enzymes are still present. Okay, and after about an hour, now they're both about equally brown. So this may come at no surprise to you if you knew why things were vacuum bagged. For example, here is a 72 hour supply of food with a 20 year shelf life. So that's because this is freeze dried and vacuum bagged. So having no oxygen does two things. The first thing it does is stop things from oxidizing. So it stops the food from tasting weird when there's no oxygen in there. Another thing it does, the most important thing it does, is it stops bacteria from growing in it. So mold and aerobic bacteria need oxygen to live. So when there's no oxygen in there, the food can't spoil or go bad. So having a food go bad, can mean that it's going to make you sick or it can even just mean that it doesn't taste good anymore. So if you sterilized a steak and put it in a vacuum bag and it stayed there for 20 years, technically after 20 years you could still eat it. It might taste a little funky because a lot of the proteins and fats will have broken down by then. Another thing you can do besides a vacuum chamber to stop apples from going brown is to put lemon juice on it. And that's because lemon juice has a lot of vitamin C in it and the vitamin C reacts with the oxygen before the enzyme reacts with the oxygen that makes it turn brown and so it protects it from turning brown. Hi, I'm James from the Action Lab. I know some things and I don't know some things, but one thing I do know is that you should subscribe to the Action Lab right now and hit the bell button. See you next time.